The pencil tool. The bane of every designer's life. You could say some of us have grown to resent this, at times infuriating tool, because we can never get it to do exactly what we want. Not to mention it can be painstakingly tedious, making us want to chuck our mouse in the bin and join the circus instead, because surely riding a unicycle whilst juggling has got to be easier. Well, my fellow designers, I am here to tell you not to give up. I was once too a victim to the complexity of the pencil tool, and it led me to think that I wasn't good enough as a designer. But after years of trial and error and developing my skills, I can quite confidently say that I have mastered the pencil tool. And as a result of this, improved me as a designer tenfold. Distinct custom typography, beautiful illustrations, unique brand patterns. These are just a few things that mastering the pencil tool can add to your design toolbox. And that's why in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I became at one with the pencil tool, like I'm Luke Skywalker and it's my lightsaber. And exactly how you can too, by giving you an insight into how I use it alongside providing actionable steps that you can do in order to get better at using the pencil tool. So if you're completely new to Adobe Illustrator, then meet the pencil tool. Used for customizing typography, drawing illustrations and shapes, and can surprisingly be used as a rubber. Strengths allows ultimate control and draw effortlessly. Weaknesses, tricky to use and envious of the pen tool. Now you've met our weapon of choice for this video, it's time to take the first of three steps on our journey to becoming a pro with the pencil tool. Up first, we must conquer the art of customizing typography. We do this as designers to create a desired look for our type. For example, in logo design, I customize typography to create unique logo types for clients. This ensures the design is individual to them and not just a font that anyone can use. So the first quest requires us to trace the singular letters. You can see here that we are given a pink dotted line to follow. So let's grab the pencil tool and adjust the gray letters to match the pink dotted line. So I'm not pressing anything. I am literally just grabbing the pencil tool and I am just guiding guiding it over that pink guide that we have. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, it might be a little bit fiddly and it probably won't go right straight away, but that is the beauty of this. You can just keep practicing. So that is all right already. I think what I'm gonna do is actually zoom in um, so I can see it more clearly because it's not actually on the pink line here. So I'm just dragging this, oh, that didn't work. I'm dragging this over just to lift up slightly to touch the line. I think I need to adjust this tail and just get that so it is perfect. And that, is pretty much there and we now have our custom type. Now this quest should get us used to using the pencil tool and help us gain a better understanding of how it works when adjusting letters. This will help us in the future when creating custom logo types for clients. Moving on to the next part of our quest and things are starting to get a little bit trickier. So the pink guide has now been removed so we've got to try and copy the black letter to the left with our eye. Now, because we have no guide to follow, it means it may take a few more attempts to get right, but lucky for us, we still have three lives left. So let's grab the pencil tool and a shortcut for this is pressing N. Let's try and create the same G. So once again, don't worry if this takes you a lot of attempts, it is all about repetition and it's what's helped me get to the place I am today. Plus it's the main reason I created these exercise sheets. So I'm just using my mouse to drag a new tail and then connect back up with what is already there. Now this does look a bit funky and it is not perfect yet, but that is the beauty of using the pencil tool is that we can keep going over the lines to adjust it to make it perfect and try and get it similar to the G over there. So the inside is a little too thick at the moment, so let's adjust that. And this top part I think is a little too thick from my eye um, and we're just kind of going over the line that is already there. What I like to do is hover my fingers over Command Z so I can go back and undo a line that I've just created in case it just doesn't look right. So I'm just gonna keep adjusting this. I think I'm gonna need to bring that down slightly, but if I just adjust that last bit, I think 
that actually looks very, very similar. And I'm gonna stop there. Now there are lots of other letters within this so you can have a good practice in getting it right. And a good tip as well with this is using the smooth tool with the pencil tool. So if the line isn't perfect, you can go over it with the smooth tool. But for this exercise, try not to rely on it and keep practicing with the pencil tool. The first quest is complete. We have learned how to use the pencil tool to customize typography and are well on our way to becoming a pro. Next up, we must conquer custom illustrations. Just jumping in to mention that this video is sponsored by Envato Elements. All of the mock-ups and fonts you see me use throughout my videos are from there. All you gotta do is just pay a small monthly fee to gain access to thousands of assets. If you wanna check them out, make sure you click the link in my description. Now let's set up on our quest to conquering custom illustrations. Having the ability to do this can help us create illustrations and brand patterns for clients, which can help elevate the brand identity and increase recognition. The first task that we're gonna do is gonna help us with our drawing skills when creating custom illustrations. So we've got a guide to follow, which should help us get some good practice in with the pencil tool. So let's grab our pencil tool and make sure that the outline is set to a color. So we've chosen the gray flower to draw over and there are two ways that I could possibly approach this. So we can either try and do like a continuous line or do each petal separately. Feel free to try to do both to practice your skills even more. So I'm gonna do each petal separately, which is definitely gonna test my patience and make sure that I've got a steady hand. So what's happening here is that I'm drawing a, a rough line to begin with and then I'm just going over with the pencil tool to adjust it to exactly how I want. It. So that one was a little bit crazy, but I can just keep going with the pencil tool, go over the line that I've already drawn and get it to look perfect. The aim is to keep within the guide as well. Um, so three down, three to go. That one, do you know what? I'm actually, I feel like this is design therapy. So if you need some therapy, go and download the sheet because it's actually very therapeutic drawing these lines. That line was pretty perfect, but it's not within that pink guide. So let's just move that in slightly. Onto the last one. Oh, let's keep drawing around that. Now I feel like this petal to the right is taking over a little. So let's move it in slightly with the pencil tool and the beautiful. So now we've got to do the inside bit. So I'm just drawing over that. I'm going to change the cap. So that is rounded to create um, a nice rounded edge, make it look a little bit nicer. So this is quite easy. I'm just drawing over this. Now you could use a pen tool to do this, but practicing with the pencil tool is always good. So keep going with it till it looks perfect. And you know what? That actually looks like the flower to the left. We have done a very, very good job there. And there are lots more shapes and illustrations that you can have a practice with when you download the sheet. After completing that task, I can feel my pencil skills increasing already. Practicing with objects acts as a great guide and this will really help us when creating your own illustrations. So now it's time to move on to a more difficult section of this quest where we will be required to use an image. So if you're like me, it can be really hard to draw from memory. So a way that I create custom illustrations is by using a reference image. This is a great way to practice drawing objects. So we're going to take the first image of the takeaway coffee cup and get cracking with the pencil tool. Yeah, you probably could use a pen tool for this, but sometimes I feel like it can be too rigid. And this is a great way to practice with the pencil tool. So I'm just going to go around the lines that I see from the coffee cup and just try and get the pencil tool to create a really nice custom illustration. Um, this is a little bit fiddly down here, but I'm just dragging the uh, pencil tool over the line that I've created. Kind of looks all right, so I'm gonna go up this side. You gotta have quite a steady hand to do this, so this is gonna be really good to practice if you feel like you don't have a steady hand with the mouse or the tablet that you're using. I'm pressing Command-Z here, because that line was not very good. Um, this is definitely testing my patience here. Let's draw the other side. That one was a bit better. So I'm gonna go around the lid now and I'm just using my mouse to drag over what I see. I'm gonna go up here. Oh, that was a little bit high, but it doesn't matter because I can use a pencil tool to just go around it and bring it down slightly. Um, I think that's good. The lid looks pretty much all right. So I'm gonna add the top part to this. This is definitely design therapy. I really like these exercise sheets. I feel like I need to create more. Um, so that actually looks okay. So I'm just gonna do the bottom part. 
Um, I'm kind of using either like a continuous line for some parts or I'll kind of just use one stroke. So that looks pretty okay. So I'm going to use the toggle tool over the before to get rid of the photo so I can see the custom illustration. So to make this more custom, you can add color, highlights and shadows and whatever else you fancy. But having that image to draw from gives you a great base to work with. And that's the second quest complete. We are now just one quest away from mastering the pencil tool. These exercises can really help when creating your own illustrations and can even be used when creating custom illustrations for real client projects. You may have seen in past YouTube videos when I've used reference images in order to create custom illustrations, it really is a useful technique. So the final boss awaits. Up next, we are revolutionizing the way we remove. The final quest requires us to use the pencil tool as a rubber. We need to remove parts of the letters and shapes in order to get a desired look. Let's jump into it. We need to remove the parts of the given letters and symbols that aren't outlined in pink. I like to remove parts of letters in order to add my own custom element onto this. So let's start with the ampersand and I'm gonna grab the pencil tool and I'm just gonna remove that gray part by dragging it over and it is gone, so easy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do the G as well. So once that is removed, um, I can actually add my own tail onto the G and create my own custom element. It's like I'm removing parts to create my own canvas that I can then add onto. This is gonna help speed up your process as a designer because you're not switching between tools and you're just using one tool to get your desired look. The final quest has been completed and we have now earned our mastery badge. Can can you see how powerful the pencil tool can be? I've shown you exactly how I use the pencil tool with my own work. Now it's in your hands. Take the first step in your quest to mastering the pencil tool. Remember, the exercise sheets are available to download from my shop. Now you know how to become a pro with the pencil tool, you need to watch this video right here where you can see how I use it in action when I designed a million dollar logo in just 15 minutes. I'll see you at the next video.